right, so today we're talking about big diffs with Git. So sometimes I struggle in like the web UI trying to do a pull request and the diff is just so massive that it's kind of hard to see. There's too many files and the files might be too long. It's hard to get around. I want my editor. I want all the com all the comforts that come with my editor. Telescope, page up, page down, simple things like that. Today I have a NeoVim plugin to fix all of that. Uh, Differcate.vim. All right, change the shirt. We're re recording this clip. I had some mic issues. First thing we're going to need is to get that new line out of here, and then we need to plug install differcate.vim. And then I've set up a couple aliases here. Uh, first one is to check out a PRs from Azure. Uh, if you use Azure DevOps. It's a handy tool to fuzzy look up open PRs, check out a PR that you pick. And what we're looking at today is this alias for diff stage, diff main, and diff master. Um, first one is going to check out, first one, diff stage, is going to take a diff between what you have currently staged, files that you have done a git add, and compare those to your current branch. Next is to compare main to your current branch. Last one, compare master to your current branch. I just one extra here, a bonus. Diff commit takes in a parameter and you can open up Differcate to a specific commit. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna yank that and I'm gonna go open up a project with some big diffs, Kedro. Um, paste this in here so we can see it and let's break it down. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is a git diff main dot dot this gives us a view kind of like what you'd see up on azure devops or github they might kind of separate out by file next thing we're going to do is pop this over into nvim dash this is going to look almost exactly like before but it's in neovim once we have this diff in this view we can simply run differcate that's going to do is it's going to look for all those file separators and it's going to make new files for each of those in a temp directory for us so if i pop an open telescope here i can see all the files in the temp directory that i'm in and i can look for things like pipeline node diff.py and i can kind of like review this a lot of times i'm you know, zoomed out a ways and when i pop open telescope i can see a lot of these small diffs I can just kind of arrow through them real quick and I can search for things that I'm interested for my part of the code review. And since I'm like, I'm in Tmux, maybe I can pop up to the actual project and open up the same file and I can use things like go to definition and then pop back down because I've got these open in splits and I use my alt O to kind of pop between them. All right, so we've checked out this uh, diff main. What was that diff commit all about? Let's go check that guy out, quit. Sometimes you wanna know the difference, not between branches, maybe it's not PR time, maybe you've messed something up and you need to know between a different point in time. Let's do a git log. And we can come in here and we can look at like this 487F. Right, so what we're gonna do is a diff commit on the 487F, 61E55. Last time I didn't give it enough of that hash hidden issue. This should be enough. And I can scroll through all the changes since that commit just a few commits back. And this might help me figure out what I've done over the past day to hit a bug or whatever, whatever I've done. That was Differcate. I'll have a link to the article and in the article, I'll make sure I have a link out to the GitHub project. Make sure you make sure you check it out. Um, make sure you come out here and give Andrew some love for this uh, fantastic plugin that he has made for us. And with that, I'm out today.